Coming to the east side of Dayton, where I was called out on a, a very unusual and dangerous call, where a four and six year old boy had found an unusual snake in their garage, and they thought it was a python. So I get there and I walk into the garage. And I saw about that much of its tail. I'm going, whoa, whoa, boys! I backed them off, and I said, uh, you know, hey, that ain't no python. So I moved the trash cans back. I looked at it, it was a gaboon viper from Africa, one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, but the world's longest fangs. About had a heart attack. Boys were playing with us all day? Apparently these kids were carrying a snake around their neck, were putting it on the ground, driving it like a car, and the snake never bit them. I couldn't believe it. The biggest snake I ever caught in the United States of America was a 16-foot Burmese python. It was right in this parking lot, right behind me here. Of course, it's somebody's pet that got loose. We got a hole that snake, pulled it up, stretched out in front of the fire engine just to show scale, to show the size of it. It was phenomenal. It was, it was a huge, huge snake. A customer lady came in the pretzel bakery here and said, they got a big cat next door. So we looked up in the window and it wasn't a domestic cat, it was a big cougar. This thing had a head about like this. Said it's a mountain lion. And my thing was, why, why in God's name would anybody have something like that in their house? Got a dispatch that there was a cougar, mountain lion, loose in downtown Dayton. It kind of a startling news to get in early in the morning. Oh, it's my husband going, honey, there's a mountain lion running loose across the street. And I'm like, yeah, right. And he's like, no, seriously. I came around the corner. I see the cougar. It starts charging after one of the Dayton officers. Why, why would they, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm going, you know, these things eat people. It turned, charged me with the most blood curdling snarls you'd ever heard in your life. It lunged at me and one in a million shot. I took the dog snare, stared him right in the mouth, spun him, turned him down, pinned his head down with all my body weight and pulled the gag on there. And now I had a, a cougar underneath my, my stick. I'm not gonna figure out how to get it out of the backyard area. The cat's tail was whipping back and forth, so I grabbed what I call God's handle, and that cat was going totally nuts. And the uh, really unusual part about it was, is on the process of doing that, the cougar pees all over me. And I felt like doing the exact same thing. I was that scared. They're predators, and they eat people. And that, you know, I didn't want to be lunch. You don't have to go to India to see a tiger. You don't have to go to Canada to see a cougar. You don't have to go to Africa to see a gaboon viper. You can go to any town USA, those animals are here.